everyone and welcome back to my channel. Fresh far away from Mrs. World getting arrested for snatching Mrs. Sri Lanka's crown comes some more pageant drama. And this one involves Miss Papi New Guinea, Lucy Maino, losing her crown over G-rated twerking videos that she posted on TikTok. Who knew that in 2021 we get a reboot of Vanessa Williams getting stripped of her Miss America crown over Penthouse publishing nude pictures of her that were taken before her reign? The Guardian reports that Lucy, 25, won the title of Miss Papua New Guinea in 2019. There was no pageant in 2020 due to coronavirus. Lucy recently took to TikTok to precise her inner twerk team champion by shaking it fast and showing everyone what she'd been working with during a beautilicious video meant for fun. But unfortunately, many were fast to criticise her actions, especially the Miss Pacific Islands pageant at PNG, the committee who relieved her of her duties after the video surfaced. Though twerking videos are common on the appliance, Maino's now deleted video was singled out by critics who said it had been not fitting for a role model to share a video of herself dancing during this way. The video was downloaded from a private account and shared on social media platforms and YouTube, where thousands of individuals piled on criticism to Maino. The videos are often found on YouTube and on a scandal scale from zero to consider the youngsters. It says on the zero to me because it's just not just like the camera is all up in her ass, and it's more like she's just exercising. To work the hate away, Lucy. Luckily, albeit some are quick to criticise her, many are rallying around Lucy and that they believe that's what's happening together with her speaks to the culture of violence and misogyny that's running rampant within their country, even stating that if a person did an equivalent thing, there wouldn't be a problem. Many people criticised the committee for not supporting Maino after she was attacked for the video. A women's advocate who didn't wish to be named for fear of becoming a target of the people that harassed Maino online said the bit committee could have handled it better by first outlining the clause that she has breached as a reigning queen. I feel that they threw her under the bus and they didn't give her an opportunity to return out and talk. That's not the thanks to going. The United Nations also slapped down those that have sent Lucy hateful messages on social media. Lucy was part of a youth team who advocated on behalf of their country to UN officials via Facebook. The United Nations stands to make sure that the rights of the people are at the forefront of digital safety and protection policies. While constructive criticism and dissenting views are legitimate, bullying isn't acceptable in any form, neither digital or in person. We see the devastating of violence against women and youngsters during this beautiful country. Some through bullying have lost their lives. Let's together stop cyberbullying. Vanessa Williams finally got an apology from the Miss America organisation and it only took 32 years. So Lucy shouldn't hold her breath while expecting an apology, especially while twerking because that would cause a medical emergency. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.